Hi guys, so today's gonna be another favorites video. One, because I asked in a vlog if you guys would want to see another favorites video. And two, because these are some of my absolute favorite videos to watch and to film. So I do have quite a few things that I'm absolutely loving this month and then also really just this season for the spring and stuff. So I have lifestyle things, beauty things, and skincare things. So we're just gonna get started. Of course, if you have any questions at all, you can leave a comment below. If you do purchase any of these things or you have any of these things, of course, let us know that as well. And if you have anything that you're loving, please leave a link below or at least the name of the product below so myself and everybody else can go check that out too. So let's just get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna talk about, I actually don't physically have right here in front of the camera, but I'll put a picture up here for you guys. It is the Ninja Coffee Bar. And we have a Ninja Coffee Bar and a Keurig and we love both of them, but the Ninja Coffee Bar has made life so much easier on our little coffee bar area. You can make pretty much anything with this thing, you guys. It is absolutely amazing. You can do a single serve cup, you can do a travel mug, you can do um, a whole pot, whatever you wanna do, this thing does it. it. Comes with a little recipe book that has tons of different ideas in it, and I absolutely love that. Um, but what we've been using it for is actually the next product I'm gonna show you guys, but Basically, the Ninja Coffee Bar is the best. If you're looking for a new way to brew your own coffee at home and you don't wanna buy the expensive pods anymore, check out the Ninja Coffee Bar. I'll put a link for it down below in uh, the description box, but it is just so, so awesome. I highly recommend so it. So the next product we've been using all of the time lately, and this goes along with the Ninja Coffee Bar, this is the Hyper Chiller. I don't know if you guys can see it here on the side, but Basically, you brew your coffee over this and it makes instant iced coffee. So as you know, Alex has kind of a little bit of a Starbucks addiction. If you watch the daily vlogs, you know that. And so we were just trying to cut back on the Starbucks a little bit. And plus, we just created this awesome coffee bar here in our home. So we figured, let's try something that will be just as good as Starbucks, if not better. And we found the Hyper Chiller online. I've shown this in a vlog before, but you guys, this is incredible. I will link a video below as to how it all works and everything, but basically this outside part here here is filled with water and then there's an inside part that's filled with water and you brew your coffee over it and the coffee goes in between the water here uh, so there's no water actually in it so it doesn't water down your iced coffee but it makes it cold in a minute which is just incredible and the full flavor of the coffee stays intact and then you can just pour it out right into whatever mug or cup you want to use and then add whatever else you want to it uh, for me i like to use the nut pods of course and some stevia or whatever but uh yeah this thing is just incredible we got it on amazon i really 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 like it read all of the reviews on amazon as well i feel like everybody that has this really likes it so if you're looking to save a little bit of money in the long run and you want to make iced coffee at home that's really good check this out okay the next thing i have to talk about also kind of goes along with coffee and i've talked about these before i swear this whole video isn't all about coffee but I just feel like I have to mention these because it is iced coffee season and this goes so well in iced coffee, but it is liquid stevia. You guys know how much we love this. Alex really, really likes the Trader Joe's kind. It's the organic liquid stevia, but we don't have a Trader Joe's very, very close to us. So when we go, we have to stock up a lot um, and sometimes they don't have it. So if they don't have the one at Trader Joe's, then I order this from Amazon. I actually prefer the sweet leaf kind. I've used this for years. It is so good, but this is just the clear liquid stevia. They also have a ton of different flavors. Uh, I bought a pumpkin one during the fall. They have a berry one that I use in my kale shakes in the morning. They have like I think they even have a cola flavored one, which is pretty cool. So this is the Sweet Leaf. Um, we get that on Amazon. And then this is the Now Stevia. Uh, is it Now? Yeah, I think it's just called Now Foods Better Stevia. And this is an English toffee. And this, this is actually what I've been using lately, and I really like it. Um, you can get this on Amazon, Vitacost. I'm sure you can find it at a local health food store or something. But I know that this brand also has other flavors. So I'll link these below. I just think they are amazing. I think liquid stevia is a thousand times better in iced coffee. Um, because, you know, like the granules, if you wanted to do like a Truvia or some type of 
type of stevia in an iced coffee. It just doesn't break down as well, and this just makes it really, really good. So if you haven't tried liquid stevia yet, I really recommend it, and I really think you're missing out. Okay, the next kind of lifestyle thing, food option, are these Parmesan crisps. They're called Wisps, and you can get them at Costco, on Amazon. I bought this bag on Amazon, actually, um, but I know they have them at Costco as well if you have a Costco membership or if you have one near you and you can, you can borrow somebody's membership or something. Um, I just like to order things online because it makes it easy. But the last bag I bought, I just got at Costco a couple of weeks ago. This one I ordered, I don't know, a while back, and there's only a little bit left in here, but these are so good, you guys. If you make salads, this can be used in place of a crouton, like if you're trying to keep it low carb, or if you just want to eat it by itself. They're so good. You can dip it in guacamole, dip it in hummus. They're delicious. You get 15 of them for 100 calories, less than one carb, seven grams of fat, and nine grams of protein. Now, I will say you can make these yourself, like if you do some parchment paper and you sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese and pop them in the oven. But for me, when I'm on the go and stuff and I just want a little snack, I always have a little baggie of these with me just in case. So I highly recommend these. If you're trying to keep it low carb or even if you're not, check these out. Uh, check Costco or Amazon. I'll put the link below. Okay, the next lifestyle type thing I have are these little salad scissors. And basically I found these because Alex, his aunt was in town and her and him went to Panera and she had these with her in her purse. And he came home and said, Courtney, you have got to get these salad scissors. They're so cool. And I've really been trying to get more raw vegetables in and like raw salads because I don't know, I just feel like it's really important, especially to like gut health and everything. Um, so I've really been trying to get more raw stuff in my diet. And these have come in handy. I mean, I've probably used these every single day since I got them. They were around $10, I think. Actually, I think I accidentally bought ones that were a little bit more, like 15, but they had pretty much the exact same ones online for 10. Um, so I'll, I'll put those links below too, but these are amazing. Basically, you just take all of your vegetables in the bowl and just chop them all up. And you can, you, you can make a really, really, really awesome chopped salad with these. And you can get a lot more greens in because they're not such large pieces. It'll digest easier. It's just a really, really awesome gadget. I really like this. I used to have one of those bowls that you could put um, and like basically make a chopped salad with and you like, I don't know, you cut it up, but I just felt like it never worked that well. I gave that away, but I really like these. And you can like close it up here and you can put it back in its box and you can carry it around. Like if you know you're going out to eat or something and you're gonna get a salad, you can take this with you and easily create a chopped salad. Um, I'm sure some of you guys are like, why do you need that? But honestly, it makes my life easier and I am all about convenience. The last lifestyle thing I have to mention is something that I just got this week actually, but I love it and I have to share it. You guys know I love my Starbucks tumblers. They are my absolute favorite. I've been using the matte black one since they came out in the fall. But this one came out, you guys, and I just think it's so beautiful. I can pour my Hyper Chiller iced coffee into this, and it, let me just look at it. It's so colorful and bright and fun. It's perfect for the spring and the summer. This will be like my spring and summer one, and then my matte black one will be the fall and winter one. But, I mean, isn't it just gorgeous? I love it. So, this was, I believe, $16.95, and I just got it in store. You can order it from the Starbucks store online as well, if you're an online shopper, kind of like I am. But if you're looking for some really beautiful tumblers, check out Starbucks, I just love them. Okay, we're gonna move on to some beauty things, which I am stoked about because I do have quite a few things that I'm really liking this month. Ooh. The first thing is this Becca Backlight Primer. I got this on sale, it was, they had a big sale at Ulta, it was half off. And I've already used half of the two because I've been using this as my primer every day. Let me just put a little on the back of my hand so you guys can see this. This basically just gives you this beautiful glow. I don't know if you can see that, but this just primes your face with a beautiful, like dewy glow. And I've been using it with my Wet n Wild foundation and I just really, really love the way that it looks. I like the way it looks in photos, the way it looks on video, I just love it. So this is super important. I think a lot of my skincare goes into my face looking the way that it has lately. Uh, but this is, ha has been a huge part of my makeup routine and I highly recommend it. It is a little bit expensive and I do think that the L'Oreal, I can't think of exactly what it's called right now. I'll link it down below as well. 
I do think that it's a pretty good drugstore dupe, the L'Oreal one to this, but I really like this because it is cruelty free. Uh, and I, like I said, I got it half off, which it was pretty much the same price as the L'Oreal. The L'Oreal probably would have been a little bit cheaper, but I really like this. So I will be repurchasing this again. I highly recommend it, especially if you have dry skin. Okay, the next thing I have been loving and I kind of just stumbled upon it by accident because Ulta was having a buy one get one free on NYX products, but this is the NYX Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter. And let me just show you guys what this looks like on the back of my hand. I don't even know if it'll do it justice, but isn't that just so beautiful? I've been using this as my highlighter pretty much every day for the last month, uh, and I really like this. This is in the shade Moonbeam, and it blends out so nicely with the Beauty Blender, and you can also put like a powder uh, highlight over it if you want to, but I've just been using this on its own just for like an everyday look, and I really, really like it. I will, this will be something I will be repurchasing again as well. I think NYX is such a great drugstore brand. This was super affordable. Actually, this was free because it was buy one get one free, but I think it was around six or seven dollars. And like I said, I've used it every day and I feel like there's still a lot left in here. So if you're looking for a nice cream highlight, this might be what you're looking for. Okay, the next thing is another NYX product and this is actually a little palette here. You can see I've kind of like worn out this, this top here, but this is the NYX To Go palette. And it's so awesome because you have all of these eyeshadows over here, and then you have a highlight shade, a blush shade, and then a contour bronzer shade. I will say I have used this the most out of everything. I've been using it for like a little bit of a contour whenever I'm just kind of on the go. These shades are all beautiful. They blend out beautifully. The highlight shade is also very, very beautiful and pigmented. And of course, you can't go wrong with a peach blush. So I really like this. I got this at Target a while ago and it kind of just sat there and then I started using it and it's pretty much all I've used lately. Uh, I actually used the blush in this palette on my eyes today and I really like that. I use this to contour and bronze with. It is a little bit more cool tone, so um, you can use a different bronzer if you want and then contour with this. I did not use these on my eyes today, but I've used them a lot, and then of course I use the highlight shade whenever I want to. Sometimes I'll put it over the liquid highlight that I've been using, and it looks really, really awesome. So I highly recommend this. It's basically, if you're traveling, you could just take this and a couple of other products. You don't need to take any other palettes, and it would be perfect. So lately, I haven't really been filling in my brows a lot. I just, I feel like I look crazy when I fill them in too much. I look like a clown and I don't really like to do that. So I've kind of just been um, using a spoolie and like, you know, brushing them out a little bit, getting them shaped. They're still not perfect and that's fine. They're not really supposed to be, at least for me. I, I think I would look crazy if I had super perfect brows. Um, but I just didn't like the way that they looked when I was filling them in a whole bunch. I do use that e.l.f. brow pencil sometimes to fill them in because it's a little bit lighter and that's okay. But instead, I've kind of just been setting them with this, the Brow Gal Brow Gel. Um, I got this in my FabFitFun box a couple of boxes ago and I just started using it. It's kind of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but it just keeps my brows in place. Like I feel like they're not gonna move and go crazy everywhere uh, because I just don't like to spend a whole bunch of time on my brows. It's just not my thing. Uh, and this makes it really, really easy. It locks them in all day. I believe it's, wa it's water resistant. It doesn't say waterproof, but it's water resistant. Um, and I mean, I really enjoy it. So I got that in the FabFitFun box, but I'm sure you can get it online. I will try to find their website below and link that Next for you. product I have been loving. I got a little sample bottle and I didn't use it for a long time and then I finally just started using it and I just ordered another bottle on Amazon because it was incredible. I went through the little bottle very quickly, but this is Bioderma and basically it is just a natural makeup removing solution. It's amazing. I've been using little cotton rounds and I just kind of soak it and then wipe off my eye makeup and it comes right off. Like I don't have to sit there and scrub. It's very gentle, but it works so well. And I don't know if you can get it in stores around here. I'm really not sure. This stuff works, you guys, and it's gentle. I just really, really enjoy it. I've also used it on my little makeup eraser that you can use like with just water. I've been using this water and the makeup eraser to wipe everything off and I just feel like it's really helped my face 
not have so many harsh chemicals all of the time all over it uh, on top of the makeup because of course you know makeup isn't great for you I really haven't been wearing that much makeup lately I mean right now you're probably like really but I really only wear it two or three days a week and then I just like to moisturize my face the other days and just kind of go but this stuff has been awesome I really like this this is a huge bottle and like I said I got it on Amazon I'm not sure if you can get it at stores I didn't see it at Target when I was there I did look for it I don't I'll check Ulta and Sephora and stuff but I just got this on Amazon and it works wonders on my skin. I feel like it keeps it more hydrated. I really enjoy it. I talked about this in a vlog because I felt like I had to because I know for me, I've struggled with that KP, which is like chicken skin, you know, for a very long time. Um, and then I found this. This is KP scrub. It's Derma Doctor K KP Duty Scrub. This stuff is incredible. I put it on before I get in the shower. I rub it all over my arms, my legs, and it cannot go on your face, but it is basically an exfoliator and a chemical peel in one, and it's just insane how smooth my skin feels after I use this, also mixed with something else I'm gonna show you guys. It's just made a huge difference on my skin. My skin is smoother than it's ever been, honestly. And this is a pretty pricey product. Uh, as you can see, it is quite big though. Uh, I think it's around $46. I got mine online. Um, they have it at Amazon, they have it at Ulta. So you can pick it up either place. I believe it's $46, so it's not cheap. But I've used this every single time I've taken a shower and I'm not even a quarter of a way done with it. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But it works wonders and it has made a huge difference in my skin. I just feel so smooth all the time and Alex even has mentioned it. He's like, Courtney, your skin is so smooth and I really believe it's because of this and the next product I'm gonna show you. So this is the next thing I'm gonna show you. I guess I shouldn't be like showing you my straight up uh, soap that I use every day, but this is an exfoliating soap. I got this on Amazon as well. It is amazing. It has little particles in it. It's all natural and you just I just scrub myself with it and it helps with making it so smooth. Like my like I told you guys, these two products together have made my skin feel like completely different skin, honestly. So this was very affordable on Amazon. I mean, it's not like dial bar soap, but um it's fairly affordable on Amazon. I've seen it at Sephora. It's a lot more expensive there but it works wonders and I am like all about exfoliating right now because I just feel like it really can change your skin and it makes or breaks your skin. So again, exfoliating soap, if you haven't tried it yet and you have dry skin or skin that you just feel isn't very smooth, try this out. I also really believe that this by itself, if you just wanted to try exfoliating soap before you tried the KP stuff, if you wanted to try this first, it could really make a difference in your skin as well and it would be a little bit more affordable than than, you know purchasing this so yeah exfoliating soap you can't go wrong another exfoliating product that I have to talk about and it's actually for your face this time this is the young living satin mint facial scrub and I just have to say this because I just can't believe it I got the dr. Brandt microdermabrasion basically the same thing in my FabFitFun box and I was I'm I'm still excited about it because I mean hello it was incredible that that was even in there because it is a $79 product and I had been using this for a while and I just loved it but I switched over to try to use that to see what the difference was and I started using it and I I like it I mean it works well don't get me wrong but I am not kidding you when I tell you that this stuff works 10 times better on my skin um, I felt like it just exfoliated better, it made it smoother. It, I could feel the essential oils in this in my skin and it felt so good. Like it felt like it was actually cleansing it and it was doing what it was supposed to do. And that product that was in the FabFitFun box was $79. Now, the, now mind you, the box was you know a $50 box and it was sent to me for free. So I mean it was free, but if I were to go buy that at Sephora, it would be $79 and this, with shipping included and everything is $26. So it's the same size and everything. They're both two ounces. So it was basically the same thing. The only difference is this is infused with essential oils and uh, it actually has a little bit less ingredients in it, which I really appreciate. So if I had to choose between those two, I always choose this one. Um, and I'm not like that with absolutely everything. I mean, I do love Young Living skincare. It, I really believe it has helped my skin on my face so much. 
uh, but this stuff you guys is just incredible I can feel it working when I'm using it you know and that to me says a lot because you can't always get that with every single product you use you know if you don't have a Young Living account and you did want to try this out uh, you can either let me know and I can help you get an account or if you wanted I could use my discount and have it sent to you and you can just PayPal me the money or something uh, whatever you want to do if you do want to try it but I wouldn't buy it online anywhere other than the Young Living website just because I've heard some kind of horror stories where people are buying these and then like adding fillers to them and then sending them out and charging more it's just not good not just this but like a lot of different oils and different products and stuff so if you did want to try it I could definitely help you out my emails in my uh, description box and you can always email me or Facebook me or whatever um, but this stuff is incredible it has helped again with my dry skin it's helped me have more radiance and I really really like the last it. product is again another Young Living product because you guys do ask me about these a lot but this is from the Art Skin Care line this is called Sheer Lume I'm pretty sure that's how you say it uh, but basically it's a brightening cream and moisturizer in one it is not cheap I would consider this a higher end item but again it's just like if you go to Sephora and get some high-end skincare it's basically the same thing but this is infused with essential oils you can see in here I don't even know if you can see it's kind of bright but I've used most of it up and I've had this for a very long time I actually put this other one on this month's order so I just got this in so when this runs out I'll be good to go but I am not kidding you when I say that a tiny tiny drop can be used for your entire face and uh, I just really love it I use this uh, as the last step to my skincare routine uh, you know I you know you guys know I use my uh, face mask pretty much every night and then I put this on after that and I kind of mix everything all together and I wake up and my skin is luminous and moisturized and it's just awesome so I usually put this on before bed and if my skin really needs some extra like TLC I'll also put this on in the morning before I do my makeup maybe like a half hour to an hour before and it just works wonders again it's not cheap I think it's around $79 for this whole thing but this has lasted me at least four months like it's lasted a long time it's infused with essential oils it's very good for my skin personally and I highly recommend it I think that is going to be it today for all of my favorites I know I had a lot of things this month and this season but I just love all of these things and I couldn't leave any of it out if you guys have any recommendations for any products that you think I should try or anybody else should try please leave a link or at least the name below like I said I would love to take your recommendations into consideration um, I will again leave as many links as I can in the description box or I will at least leave the names of everything if I can't find a link or something um, and if you have any questions please feel free to ask me but other than that I think that's it for today and I just cannot say thank you guys enough for watching today and always I always appreciate you please be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I will see you soon love you